I want to talk to you a few minutes about reading a tape measure uh, for a couple of reasons. One, of course, you have to be able to read tape measures in the welding program, but also uh, because looking at tape measures uh, can be helpful for doing uh, fraction problems and understanding why fraction problems come out the way they do. So I'm going to start out with a, a really simplified, this is the first inch of a ruler, and if you imagine that that I only split my ruler up into half inch segments, this is what a ruler would look like. So here's the end of the ruler, here's the one inch mark, and so of course this would be the one half inch mark. So if it's been a while since you worked on fractions, remember that the, the reason that's a two down there is because it means we split the inch up into two pieces. And, and this is the, the mark where one of those two pieces is. So of course, a tape measure that's only split up into half inch marks isn't gonna be very helpful to us. So imagine if we wanted to split that inch up into four pieces. So it would look like this. We've split the inch up into four pieces, but the designers of tape measures have a better idea because they don't want you to get visually lost in there. So what they do is the same thing, but but they make the the lines of different lengths. So here the inch marks are long, the half inch mark is shorter than those, and then those quarter inch marks in between are shorter still. So this is still one half. But since we split it up into fourths, this is one fourth. One half is also two fourths. We wouldn't ever call it that, but it but it is because it's one fourth, two fourths. But we'd call it one half. And then we go one more fourth over, we're at three fourths. And then we go one more fourth, we're at one inch, which you could think of as four fourths. So still, a, a tape measure that's measured to just to the nearest quarter inch isn't much use to us. So the next more precise rule would be if we split it up into eighths of an inch. So we've got one inch, we split it up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And then we're gonna read those as eighths of an inch. So the tape measure makers have, have done the same thing. Here's our quarter inches that were shorter than the half inch mark. And then these are eighth inch marks that are shorter than the quarter inch marks. So each one of these gaps is an eighth of an inch. So this one over here is one eighth. We already know from the from the previous one that 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 next mark is a quarter of an inch. So we know this is one fourth. It's also two eighths, but again we don't we don't use two eighths because we always want the numbers to be as small as possible. But it is two eighths. And then that makes this one three eighths. This one we already knew from the very first one that that's a half. That's also two quarters. And it's also four eighths. Okay, so if that's four eighths, then the next thing over is five eighths. Next thing over is six eighths, but six eighths is three quarters, so that's otherwise known as six eighths. So if that's six eighths, the next thing over is seven eighths, and the next thing over after that is eight eighths. If you have eight eighths of something, you have one whole thing. So notice we chopped up into eight pieces, we counted them up by eighths, so we could count them as one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. But because of the traditional way that we talk about those fractions, 
the way we really name them is 1 8th, 1 4th, 3 8th, 1 half, 5 8 3 quarters, 7 8 And remember, it's, it's really important to think about that, that the line lengths matter. They're, they're of different lengths. The, the ones that are of the same lengths are the same type of measurement. So, so these two are the same length. So we know those are quarter inch measurements. And then these are eighths. So they're eighths. So that's, that's how we're going to read the measure later when we have a, a, a measuring tool that's not marked with the fractions. Okay, so of course the typical measuring tool that you might use in your program is measured in sixteenths. So remember, this is a half here. This is a quarter. And so if you're new to using tape measures, what I would recommend is is uh, just doing the, the bigger measurements first. So in other words, don't worry about sixteenths at first. Just see if you can find quarter, half, three quarters, and, and one really quickly. And then when you get better at that, you can go to the next thing down. So on this thing, this is going to be one eighth. This is one quarter, which is two eighths. That makes this three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. And now, since this one's measured in sixteenths, that means this right here is one sixteenth. So I don't want this to get confusing. So up here, this one is three sixteenths. So we're following our same pattern. This is one sixteenth. This is two sixteenths, which we'd call one eighth. And then three sixteenths. This is four sixteenths, but we call it one fourth. And we'll talk more about those, what we call equivalent fractions. So equivalent fractions, this is one quarter, which is also two eighths, which is also four sixteenths. And we'll talk about those in a separate video. But so then that makes this, this one here is five sixteenths, six sixteenths, seven sixteenths, eight sixteenths, nine sixteenths, sorry, ten sixteenths. 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, this one here is 13 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, and then this one is 15 sixteenths, and then at one we're back to 16 sixteenths. So when our tape measure is, is divided up into sixteenths, that's how the different um, lines are, are uh, what the different lines mean. And so notice, again, the 16th line is a different length than the 8th line, which is a different length than the quarter, which is a different length than the half. That allows your eye to visually figure out uh, what the measurements are. So we'll do some practicing with those in another video.